I guess my first question for you would be impending fatherhood. Is that changing the way that you're approaching anything here, or, or how has it changed your life? Uh, yeah, it's changed my life tremendously, knowing that I'm bringing in a new baby boy into the world. Uh, it's progressing my level every day. I thank you about him every day. Uh, they go out and play on every day. Uh, not only for him, but for my family, for the love of God. Does that push you a little bit to say, you know, hey, I want to make this a success so I can, you know, make money for him next year? Yes, sir. I mean, that's exactly what I do for him. Yeah, I come out here and grind. I'm trying to set an example for him. Uh, he's not here yet, but I'm still trying to push him guy. And when he get here, just continue doing it. And become the father I know I can be. You're also having to kind of play father to a bunch of young kids out here on, on in the secondary. How's that going? And and who who's kind of caught your eye? Um, a lot of the young guys, Kevin, uh, Mullen, uh, those guys are coming in. They're looking really good. Um, also. Defensive end, Xavier and Kelly, he's uh, doing pretty well. Uh, but we all just have to continue to grow and get better, but those are the ones that stand out to me so far, along with me. Tell me about Trayvon. What does he do that may earn him snaps this year? Uh, he, he's just a guy who wants to wants to be great. Um, he wants to know, understand the game. He asks questions. If he don't know anything, he's going to ask questions. Uh, he's a technician guy, so he's going to study his technique. Uh, he's going to watch the people who's in front of him. He's going to go out and try to execute it better. So I, I like his attitude and mindset. What about Kayvon? Kayvon, yeah. Kayvon is another guy who, who asks a lot of questions. Um, I, I think one of the freshmen that asked the most questions out of anybody. Um, he, he didn't come in as the highly recruited guy, so he, he has to play with that hunger and that edge. You can just tell everything. He comes to the field running right on the field. What's it like going out there and working against Mike Williams and some of these absolute studs at wide receiver every day? Um, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's a sense of urgency every day. We want to against the best every single day. It only makes me better. And I accept the challenge. Uh, Mike Williams is probably the best receiver in the country in my eyes. And I just love going to compete against him every day because I'm, hope, I'm hopefully not going to see anything better. <laughs> as good as it gets. When you go back and look at last year in the spring, what did you come into this fall saying, this is what I'm going to get better at, this is where I'm going to improve? I, when I came back, I wanted to start all over. You know, last year, picks and tackles, last year, just a little bit. So I always want to be a student of the game. And just continue to grow and just continue to get better. I uh, tried a lot late last year, overwhelmed this year. Like I said, there's a new year. And just grow, be a technician, learn how to use my hip more, and learn how to play more off coverage and stuff like that. Whenever you read national stuff, they say the secondary is a concern, needing three new starters. But with Jadar having played so many snaps and Van, do you feel like it's three new starters, or is it just? You know, you could have threw those guys in last year, and we would have been just fine. So I, I just feel like we're just picking up right when we left off. Of course, we had some great guys in TJ Green and Jay Long, but hey, we all practiced on the same field. We, we just grinded. We just, somebody just had to go out before somebody. But we, we throw those two in, we still win. Who's seeing the most snaps behind you? Uh, it's equal amount, but not really. We, we all <laughs> running ones, twos, and threes. It's really not a set stuff. We just all rotate and stuff. We all get the reps so we can get different looks from the future. I think we can just assume you'll be the starter on one side, though. Is there, yeah, are you comfortable that they're going to find somebody that can oh, yeah. step in and play at that um, other spot? Yes, most definitely. Uh, we got the guys uh, and the coaches. That's their job. They want to sit down and study the sound. who's ready. Whether it be me, whether it be Trayvon, or Mark, no matter whoever's ready to play, that's what we want to go play. Sounds like uh, you and Corinne have gotten a lot of the reps lately. How does he look? How does he handle all that work? Corinne looks uh, tremendous. Um, you know, he, it's been two years since he played football, and he's picking up right where he left off. Uh, he done bumped up some, he looked like he's gaining some speed. He just looked confident just like he was his freshman year, so I'm excited for him. How much does versatility help you guys out? It helps a lot. You move from the nuclear, you move from the safety, so it just helps a lot. Uh, he's just a smart guy. He knows where to be before the player knows. He just picks up really quick. He has a lot of questions. Even being here three years, he always wants to be a student in the game. I just love his mindset. Did you tell that he got over the injury? Was there a moment where you could see he was back to being himself? Well, it, it, it was down for a while, but, you know, it's us wanting to pick him up and encourage him. And, you know, he kind of got found himself. He just had the mindset, all right, I'm back now. Time to grind. And he's been doing an excellent job since he's been back. Thanks, boy. Yes, sir.